Hello, this is Mr. Rogers, and this is a step-by-step -step instruction guide to how to make our Scratch mammal narrated piece. So here we are in Scratch. I'm in my account. I've signed in, and I just wanted to demonstrate uh, what this could like when you do your own. Of course, you can choose your own animals, but here is the final production. And of course, we'll be adding more animals, uh, but this gives you the basic format of how that works. And you saw in the demonstration that there is Scratch, who you can see him talking with the words above his in the little bubble above his head, and you can also hear his voice at the same time. To do this effect, I use two flags. So looking at the code or the instructions for Scratch, you'll see there's one flag here, and this is for him to see what he's saying, and then there is another flag here for to see what he's, or to hear, sorry, what he's saying. And that's all just on Scratch itself. So I'm going to run through real quick how to build this, and then hopefully you can give it a try and have fun with that yourself. So I'm going to go and uh, go back out, and I'm going to go to Create. And here's just a basic opening. The first thing that we did was we went to the backdrops. We went down to the big picture on the bottom and we went to the magnifying glass. Here, since I have a bear, you may choose another animal, but mine's a bear, so I chose a background suited to his environment, which would be the forest. Now I have a great background for him. I click back on Scratch because he's the one I need to give instructions to. The first set of instructions will be to see what's above his head so we can see him talk. To do that, I'm going to get my events. I'm going to drag a flag over. I'm going to blow that up a little bit so you can see it. Now the first block I'm going to use is a looks block. So come over here to the purple and click on looks. We want the say hello for two seconds. Okay, and then here you're going to say, hello, my name is Scratch. And two seconds might not be long enough for that. So I might go up to um, maybe go up to four seconds. I try to look at all the big words, one, two, three, four. So about four seconds to read all that. And that's pretty good. And then I'm going to grab another block. And this time I'm going to write the second phrase, which is or I am going to going to teach you about mammals. Now there's more words there. I might want to count one, two, three, four, five. So maybe more like five seconds on that one. Okay? And then the last one. Uh, is going to be introducing my little fellow animal, my mammal friend. This is my friend, Barely. And he is a mammal. <laughs> Something like that. And again, counting the letters, I might go for uh, six seconds on this one. Great. Now if I press the green flag, I should see this happening for four seconds so that I can read it, for five seconds so I can read that, and then for six seconds so I can read that. Great. That seems to work well. Press stop. I'm going to minus out a little bit. And now I'm going to put in the sounds. To do that, again, make sure you have scratch selected. Then come over here to the very top where you see code. Then there's a costume tab, which we won't be working with today, but another day. And then sounds. In sounds right now, there is a meow sound, but we don't need it. 
So I'm going to go to the little trash can here and I'm going to delete that sound. And now I'm going to add a new sound. Remember, you need to remember your script. So, you know, remember what you said over here and you might want to write it down or keep it somewhere to the side uh, or even open it up on another screen. You could do that so you can see uh, what you're saying. <laughs> so here we go. I'm going to go and do some sounds. To do that, you come down to the bottom, choose a sound, and you're going to go to the second one up that looks like a microphone and record. Now when you do this, you're going to see a little pop-up up here, right here. See where my mouse is? And it's going to ask you if you want to allow your Chromebook to use your microphone. Please allow, okay? If you don't allow, then you won't see these really cool levels. Do you see how it's seeing my voice? I'm really quiet now. And I'm really loud now, so it's great. Hello, my name is Scratch. Okay, so I did a quick recording. You can see here that there are some lines on the outside, and those are a little bit extra time and space. So I'm going to trim that off. This is called trimming. And I'm going to trim this off. And I'm going to press play and listen. Hello, my name is Scratch. Hello, that, my name is Scratch. That sounds good. Then I press save. Now it's really important to label your recordings or you're going to lose track of which one's which. So I'm going to call this one, you know, hello, so that I remember that that's where he says hello. And then press enter. And I'm going to come back out. Actually, you know, I'm going to make all my sounds before I go back out. So I'm going to make another sound now. Record. Let's see, what did I say second? I'm trying to remember now. I am going to teach you about mammals. Okay, press stop, trim, and save. And then this one I'm going to call teach. I'm just using one word to help me remember. And then I'm going to do one more. It was my last dialogue. Oops, sorry about that. Again, go to the record button. This is my friend, Barely, and he is a mammal. Trim it out and save. I'm going to call this friend. OK, now that I have three new sounds, and you can test them and make sure they're right, you can go back out to the code and then you can put in the code for the sounds. To do that, you'll need another flag. Because if you put the sounds in after the, um, the words, then it'll, you'll see the words first and then the sound will come after. So we want them to run at the same time. So let's go to events, get the flag, and now we're gonna get sound, and we're gonna play sound until done. Now my first sound is the hello. So I'm gonna need to switch it out for the hello. My second sound, let me get another sound here, is teach. If you remember, I labeled it teach, so it helps me to remember. And my third sound is friend. So, and that one's ready to go. Now let's see what happens when I press the play for everything. Okay, so what we see here is that it's working pretty well, except you'll notice that on the say blocks where you see the text, there are four second waits. And so we want to make sure to add those over here. To do that, we're going to go to control. You're going to bring out a wait block. And then you might want to put in, I don't know, three or four seconds. You may have to play around with this to see what happens. Let's try it now. That's pretty good. So now you can see how I built my script for that particular frame. In the next episode, I'll show you how to switch out backgrounds and bring in another animal. For now, that's how you do the dialogue. Thank you very much.